Hey guys, it's Victor Costa. I hope you're doing well. I uh, wanted to share with you tonight a technique, something that I've been working on for a long time. Hopefully uh, you'll find it uh, valuable um, and maybe uh, you'll be giving me some feedback telling me that hopefully it uh, contributed to your workout in some way. So let me take you back to a time when I was training in front of a mirror. I wasn't really hogging the mirror, but I was doing a set in front of the mirror. And someone walked in front of me and it disrupted uh, my set. It disrupted my concentration. And I don't know if that's ever happened to you, where someone blocks your view of yourself and you can no longer perform at the same level um, that you were doing before, the same pace or the same intensity. And I found that really interesting because I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I know what I'm doing and something like that shouldn't phase me um, and I should be able to continue. But I wanted to see why and I wanted to explore why this disrupted my concentration to the extent that I actually threw the set away. And then I, um, I went back to it. Um, obviously there was no one in front of me now and I went back to it and it was even much harder to get back on track and kind of uh, reconnect with myself. So I don't know if that's ever happened to you where someone walks in front of you, you bust up your concentration, you might even stop, you have to pause, and then um, you resume later on. So after that experience, I tried a lot of things. I tried a lot of techniques and I did that with some clients. Um, there was a client who was doing lateral raises in the mirror and he was really focused on his own energy. He was focused on how hard he was working and also he was so focused on the reflection of what that looked like coming back at him. Really focused on this area mostly what he was doing. And I didn't like that for him because there was too much energy and attention in this area uh, and we were working over here, right? So I wanted to draw his attention to his shoulders. I simply could have said, hey, take the attention off of here and put it over here. That's certainly another technique. But what I did in this circumstance, um, remembering my experience was I said, well, I want you to look at me while you do your set. Now, I don't want you to turn your head, just stare in the mirror at my reflection. And he suddenly couldn't train anymore. And the reason was because it brought him back into his body. He no longer had a visual of what that looked like. So all he had to do now was focus on the feeling of the training and it brought the energy back into the body and less, it was less about the repetition and completing it and it was more now about the feeling of how the weights come into the body. And this is a terrific technique. Uh, try to take your attention and focus away from what the repetition is supposed to look like and simply bring it back into the body and focus on the feeling. I've done that by actually turning my back to the mirror by shutting my eyes, it really brings the weights back into the body when all you are left with is the feeling of it. So two techniques in this video. I, I know it may be a little circuitous, but the first technique was um, don't focus so much on the energy of what you're putting out because that is the reflection of what's coming back to you. Just more stress is coming back to you as you put more stress out. Focus on the body parts that you actually want to work. In this gentleman's case, there was too much energy in this area and not enough energy and focus and attention on the areas that we were training. And then also, after you've drawn your attention there, you can even practice by not looking at yourself in the mirror at all and just focusing on the feeling and bringing the feeling back into the body as compared to what the exercise in general is supposed to look like. Now, I wish you guys all the best. Peace, love, and muscles. Visit me at Vix Natural. Say hello on Facebook. And uh, I'm going to put a link down below. I'm going to be doing some, uh, some seminars. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to attend online. Okay? Take care. All the best. Peace, love, and muscles. Bye.